Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box for the Tactical Trader at TheTechTrader.com. It's Wednesday, December the 20th. These are the charts of the day. A quick look at the indices. You can see that today was a gap up and a consolidation all day and a perfect one, two, three, four, five wave decline. A kind of a parallel flag. Same thing on the S&P. A little dip in the afternoon it looked a little scary because it actually did break what looks like wedges if you draw them this way. But at the same time, those, even though we made a lower low into the gap slightly, but holding it on the S&P right there where the gap started in the morning, or right about it, the markets then rebounded in a nice fashion, finished near the declining tops on the NASDAQ 100, slightly above it on the S&P. Still below the highs, we need to get through the um, recent spike high would be good if we can get up to say 49.63.4 zone. S&P needs to get over 22.72 and a half. And then take out the 22.78 um, area, which was reached back up here. So 76 area, excuse me. So we'll be watching these carefully. And in that, on the hourly chart, you can see this rising pattern We've held these lows. We've held lateral price resistance, uh, should I say, with prior resistance, which is now support. And you can see the multiple tops. This is the NASDAQ 100, up just above 49.60, 61 range. We get to that, we should go to 49.85.90, maybe get to 5,000. The S&P 500, very bullish pattern. And coming off the low, especially, look at this five-way move. One, two, with a nice little wedge here. And then a three, four, with a little pullback falling wedge as well. And then a sharp run up to wave five. And now another strong wedge. We popped out and we got a mini wedge. Obviously, with five waves up, we're always vulnerable to a bigger pullback. Um, not until we get below 22, 48, 50 would I be worried about it or even concerned. You can see the top of the channel says 2310-ish, 2305-10 range would be potentially a target near term. Now let's go to the charts. Big day for Akiba as it popped on drug news, it got up as high as <clears throat> 1070. I think it was even higher than that pre market. Take a quick look. Yeah, it ran up to 13, folks. 13. Dropped all the way down to 93540 and then ran back up and settled in around the $10 range. But looking at the daily chart, key breakout out of a base pattern um, today with a breakaway gap on relatively huge volume. Uh, not the best close, but mid-range. I look for this stock to still make its way to 11 and a half, and then possibly even 13. We'll keep an eye on this one going forward. There's a, almost 11 days to cover. That could add fuel to the fire. We'll see how much of that is still short as of today. Well, AMD keeps pushing it, and look at this beautiful chart. Beautiful 45 degree angle rising channel. My target now, which was 13, is closer to 14 and 16. Today was a significant little breakout out of our little trading range for a gain of 56 cents or 5% on a mere 59.3 million. Lots of volume in the stock. ATSG had a good day, popping 69 cents or four and a quarter percent on half a million. That volume doesn't sound like a lot, but it's the biggest volume in a month. <clears throat> and it comes right up to where resistance is and has the highest close on this stock in this entire range. So leaning towards a breakout and a run up to, towards 19, that's my next target at the top of the intermediate channel. When you look at this channel, it's a beauty. Former swing trade looking good. Cien Sienna. Well, Sienna popped out of a falling flag yesterday and followed through nightly today with a gain of 79 cents or 3.3% on 4.6 million. And it looks to me like this trend is still in play. We've had a one, two, three, four. We should get a fifth wave. Could get it up near 26 and a half. That's my near term target. Secondary targets at 29. Five days to cover short. Well, what a day for Clovis. Check out the pop in the morning. All the way up to near 47 and then pulled it down near 38. Big drop. But the pop and then falling wedge here. And a perfect one, two, three, four, five wave decline. And culminated with a uh, pop out. And beautiful bull coil. Usually when I see that, that's the perfect buy when it breaks out of there. That came from about 41. It made it up to 42 and a half, flagged, and closed up 204, net net on a day of 5%. But I still like the daily chart because, as you know, this was a swing in here for us. 
Right now it's a swing in this little level. I wanted to see it get through 40. It did that and how with a big thrust this morning. But it pulled back and lit literally ended up with an inside day, which isn't bad considering it held the double top here at the low and finished strong. So let's see if this follows through tomorrow. My targets obviously are on the 46, 49 zone. And then I'm looking for 54 with 5.2 days to cover. Huge day for CNAT, huge. Let's look at the morning pop. Now, it gapped up and ran up and then pulled back. Double top kind of and then pulled back. But oh, net, net. This is a bullish consolidation in my mind. I think what we're seeing is this. It looks like a bit of a coiling type pattern. We take these lines out for now. See the coil? So let's see what comes from this, whether we get a breakout to the upside or pull back and retest the lows. And right now, th this is the pattern I'm looking at for a potential run back up and through, which would get us to seven and eight. And you know, we put a swing on this today. Looking at it on a daily chart, it looks like one big pop, which it was, net net. But 40 million shares, folks, 40 million. Unprecedented historical volume in the stock. Looking at the peak from September of last year, 712, and then five, six months prior to that at 846. So that would be potentially targets in that zone and then eventually 11. I'm not sure we get to 11 that quickly, but we'll see if this was the trigger day or not. CRR. <clears throat> CRR has had a big decline, obviously, dropping from 150 down to single digits near 5.6. The actual low here on heavy volume was 5.66. It's doubled since then, and it's come back up to and slightly through the declining channel and moving average and lateral price resistance. The next target has to be about 11 and a quarter, and then I'm looking at something in the 12, 12 and a half range. It looks pretty good. I give it the benefit of the doubt. Today was a big day. It's a jump to dollar twenty-eight, almost fourteen percent, on a million six. So let's uh, let's see if that is able to get up to my next target, as I said. At right now, let's call it twelve. Twelve, thirteen, and fifteen potential targets going forward if it makes it up through that zone. And this one's got six point six days, six point five days to come. CWEI has been up every day for the last seven sessions. Today, it broke out through key resistance and made a new, nominal new rally high that's been in, in place since March. Now, the all-time high obviously comes up here in 2014 when this stock was a rock star up at 146 before dropping down to, yep, six. Hell of a recovery. And you can see that right now I have my designs on this rising channel up near 150. Yeah, I said 150 or 32 points from here. And with four days to cover, we may very well see that if we get any fall through at all. EDIT, well, the basis formed, the breakout occurred two days ago. It did reverse, but I like the way it held the trend line and rallied right back. I'm looking for EDIT to make a move up towards 20, 20 and a half next target. And there's 4.3, four days to cover. Cold stock FELP broke out of a beautifully formed bull coil. Not too dissimilar from what we had here when the stock formed pretty much more of a flag, see it? But here it formed a wedge, so it's the kind of stock that will run, consolidate, and run. And do so with really nice technical patterns. Inverse head and shoulder breakout, wedge, pop, flag, pop, a little mini wedge, and then a pop, a larger coil breakout. Targets are 9 and 13 going forward. This one looks pretty good. Not a big short position, but a great chart. And how about Fred's today? Oh my God. About 81% exploding on the news that they've acquired 865 stores from Rite Aid, Rite Aid that is going to be converted to Fred's drugstores. So pretty much just blows the company out in terms of revenue and sales and earnings and everything else, according to what we're hearing. Um, notice that it went through highs first in the 17 zone and then took out the $20 high today, going to pop up there, twenty-one seventy-seven. It closed right about there. And looking at the longer term, the highest level it ever achieved was at twenty-one oh five. So it actually closed beneath that. But let's see if it can settle into some consolidation, and then eventually make a move, which I think could take it way up to the top here in the 
43094 range which it reached many many years ago but for now let's watch to see if this was the trigger day that's going to explode this stock into several higher points swing trade gsm bounced off of support which was at the prior double top reversed and then followed through today so i think we're done with this pullback and now i'm looking for gsm to make a move that looks something like this this is the flag and this is the pull if you take a move from 875 to as high as 12 you get about four and a quarter points from this pullback here it's up to 15. so that's what i'm looking at going forward a move a measured move up to 15. there is some resistance in you know in between around 13 and a quarter three and a half days to cover now hawaiian airlines boy the airlines are strong and hawaiian's phenomenal new all-time highs continues to push i would not be shocked to see it reach the top of the channel at 75. right now it's at mid-channel there may be some resistance here but it recently broke through a double top and has, has mojo and there's also 5.7 days to cover i'm not sure what the shorts are going to do with that one about ions today popping to 53.74 before backing off a dollar 75 but it was still up to 75 or 5.6 percent and traded three million this is the breakout of the wedge a little two-day pullback and then today it popped again looking for 58 and 65 on ions swing trade kem broke out of its week and a half consolidation notice the volume had dissipated today it picked up to 809,000 as it broke out and closed near the upper end of the range i would fully expect to see seven and a half eight eight and a quarter and then nine going forward it's a really nice chart 3.8 days to cover carmax big day today broke out took out double resistance probably headed for a move up towards 69 short term near there there's a little bit of resistance in that zone, but eventually it could make it to 73.4 mpet well with a pop and coil and then another big pop and coil looking for wave five that looks like that began today my tar is at 12 and i'd have to say 15 going forward but the ultimate target could be 19. there's mid-range around 15. stepping back and looking at the overall structure of this if one would draw a trend off of the low which we don't don't want to do normally and then do a parallel channel like that look where this puppy reads about 30. of course that's down the road long term but for right now not a bad chart eight days to cover short look for a follow through beyond nine to get to 11 and 15. should be a swing maybe i'll do something about it loving ndrm here the, the pop out of the base on huge volume on drug news and then a big pullback with a secondary two days later and it held very nicely at 18 exploded to 20 and a half pullback from the wedge got very quiet for three days very low volume ebb breakout yesterday follow through today i love that with a little bit of a gap and it closed near the upper end of the range looking good i like to see a little bit more volume but my targets are 22 and 24 24 and a half 10 and a quarter days to cover on that one nvidia is the monster of the midway taken over from cwai maybe this has gone from 24 to 105. i still think cwei having gone from 6 to 118 has this one beat but boy what a chart now it's near the top of the channel that i had a target on I remember last week i said 107. Well, today we got to 106.13 pretty close now i can't i'm not saying it can't go further but it may need some time to rest we shall see if semiconductor is mojo this could be 125 dollars short term big day for pi impinge went up 457 or 12 13 percent on a million two but more importantly when i pulled back in this wedge i was very tempted to give you a swing i did not my bad it almost reached 40 at 39.99 today but it did break through a triple top my target remains 50 now perhaps mid-range at 44 would be advisable to take a look at that PIR phenomenal since the move move uh at the breakaway gap three days ago it's done nothing but run up I'm looking for 11 four days to cover airline Skywest continues up another dollar 74 and a half percent today along with Hawaiian my two favorite airlines top of the channel says near term we should see 41 but we may do much more than that and soda is mojoing again look at that little coil of flag in here 
held up very nicely. It's been channeling in this level, so let's look at that as a potential move short term. And I'm looking for 44, maybe 45 on the stock. There's two and a half days to cover that one. Great looking stock, Supernus, up against resistance. Two days in a row hitting 27, 2705. It was kind of an inside day, but it was an up day, only 45 cents. But I think once he gets to 27, L510, oh, I'm looking at 32, 33. And that may happen very quickly. Keep an eye out for that one. 3.4 days to cover. Well, Taylor Brands, our swing trade after popping and flagging in a rising flag looks awfully powerful. Targeting 31, 37 going forward with 11 and a half days to cover. Looking pretty interesting. Tower Semi looks great. Now, it did have an inside day in a very narrow range. I like the way this looks a lot. It seems to be the type of stock that will do that and pop, do that and pop. So it, it, it was really, I could think, a constructive day, despite the fact it didn't make a lot of um, progress. 23 quarters, 21 and a half short term, but 24 and 25 and a half, 26 in immediate term. Great looking chart. 2.9 days to cover. How about that Tesoro? Broke out of a little wedge a couple days ago and pulled back. Let's call this the larger wedge. Hasn't quite broken out of that yet, but today was a, sub a substantial day of 9.23. That's seven and a quarter percent and it traded a million. No question, this is a fantastic rising channel. That if it does what I think it can, we may see 170, 75 short term if it's able to get the resistance. Seven days to cover in addition to that. And TTMI having a great time. If I look at this chart, Near term. Resistance, 15. If we get through that tomorrow, we may very well see 17 and 19 going forward. That looks very good. And swing trade Winnebago popped out of a coil today, jumping $1.40 to 4% on 600000 That's good buying for that stock. I would think we get a run up towards the 40 the range, 40, 40 and a half is my near term target. And there's almost 12 days to cover on this baby. Lastly tonight is U.S. Steel which popped out of a wedge, jumping 233 or 6.76% and traded almost 17 million, an increase in volume for the first time in six sessions. I think the stock is ready to make another run at 39.40, but my targets for this time are gonna be 46 going forward. Some pretty good looking charts out there, everybody. Let's make some money. Good night, tech traders.